Next up is optional boss number seven. We're going places, man. We'll just teleport to Courtly because... The next one is at Slayham Castle. Bum bum bum. But of course we'll drop a save because why not? Might as well. Do 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 do. Guess we'll see if there's any more skills we can learn. Honestly, we don't really need a any more skills at this point, but they can't hurt, so why not? Yeah, I don't think learning up magic attack with Brad would do a damn thing. So, kind of pointless. So we'll just learn status protection. Might as well. Give you another critical. Because a lot of the skills are just kind of useless, really. Ba -ba. Guess we'll learn to up physical attack with Lilka, because why not? Help her for when she actually attacks, which really isn't going to be that often. Okay. There we are. I mean, we've already mastered all of the important skills. <laughs> So, the rest is just kind of like whatever. Whatever you gotta do. Whatever stops the tears. Bum bum. Let's drop a save. Saves right there. I like how other than Ghost, we've just been plowing through these optional bosses. Ghost was the tricky one. So to Slayheim Castle. So I think this one is going to be weak against Dark. So wrong place, where am I going? So Light's going to be our main weapon of choice. Slayheim Castle. As always, it's going to be in the first room. Because they didn't want you to have to go too far to actually get to it. Yay! Bum bum bum! Giant monster of light, Xenon. Xenon! So so his belly has 50,000 HP. He has 99,999 HP. Most HP of any enemy so far. And he's weak against dark, of course. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Light rings will definitely be useful. Again, you, you can cheap it up with sleep, but we're not going to do that. Da, da, da. Let's see. We want to start off with our mages. Because our mages are awesome. Bum, bum, bum. We're not doing things the cheap way. We didn't get to level 75 for nothing, you know. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Guess we could give you power boost for now. 81 now. <laughs> Even better. The interesting thing is, on the first turn, Xenon will cast Barrier, which actually does nothing. So, it's like, pff, whatever, man. Let's see, we want to... We 
we want to put L Lydia Salk. So on this first turn, we want to summon Lydia Salk with Tim. Marvel, we want to do Status Lock. Status Lock on Lilka. And then Lilka, we want to do Quick on herself. For the first turn. Quick! Nestle Quick. It does a body good. Make her all fast and speedy and such. He'll do Barrier, which which actually does nothing. Nothing. I don't know why. It does not buff him. I don't think anybody knows why. It's like a glitch in the game. So, whatever, man. Bum, bum, bum. Bloody as Hulk. Good old Darkness attack. Love that summon. Oh my god, 20,000 damage. That was the, the highest damage so far. Sheesh. Okay. So this turn, he's he's automatically going to do Ray Force. So you, you, you want to switch Ashley and Brad in over Tim and Marivel? That's what you want to do. And you want to put a light ring on uh, Wilco. Luckily, you can switch equipment and characters in the middle of battle. That's it, it, that's extremely helpful. Light ring. There we go. And we could put one on Ashley just for fun. Yep, there is an ultra boss. Wild Arms Games always has an ultimate boss, and, and, and it's always the same enemy, too. We'll put a Light Ring on Ashley just to be safe. It, it may not be necessary, but just to be safe. And we'll put a Dark Ring on Ashley, or pff, Brad. Getting my characters mixed up, man. Okay. All right, so let's see. Well, what do we want to do here? Bum bum bum. Brad, Brad can go ahead and use a lucky card. Ah, I need to. I need to give Ashley Zephyr. Okay, so he can force charge. Lucky card, Force Charge, Mystic, we want a Mystic Dark Ring. Dark Ring. Because it does Black Gate. Lucky card! Get that out of the way. Xenon Rayforth. This is a very powerful attack. But Light Rings did, did, did definitely helps to survive. Look at that. Over 6,000 damage. Pretty sickening. <laughs> okay. Unless your levels are really low, you should be able to survive that with Light Rings and such. If you have a light ring on and you still can't survive, then you're, like, r ridiculously low-leveled. So, yeah. Alright, so this is where the battle, like, 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 really begins. So, let's see. Do we have a dark ring on Brad? Yeah, we do, okay. We just want a normal attack with Brad. Bum, bum, bum. And pretty much do like he always does. Ashley, we can do access.
and pretty much just spam Mystic Life Orb. <laughs> to keep everybody alive, because she'll automatically go first because of Quick. And that's pretty much the fight. And if there's really nothing else for her to do, just defend. Because attacking is not a good idea. And you want to make sure you have over 3,000 HP at all times. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. And you do not want to do Gunblaze, actually. Because cause that only does half damage. So you don't want to do that. Oh, we just healed them. Oh, crap. Yeah, I need to take that light ring off then, I guess. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think I can now. Oh, crap. Well... Well, I'll just have to, uh... Just do a mini carrot to get him some FP. Boom, boom, boom. I think I need to undo his formation because we don't want to have light ring on. And once you've done access, you can't t take it off because I think Mad Lucy will heal him now. Won't it? I think it will. No, it won't. Okay. We're fine. It'd be better with, uh... With, with what's it called? Uh... Power booster, but that's fine. Critical! That's what we want to see. do 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 And you need to make sure with Brad you have at least 7,100 HP, or else Ray Force will kill him in one shot. So I think it's best just to try and keep your HP full at all times, because that Ray Force does a lot of damage. Bum 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 bum. Counter-attack! Missed. Rayforce again. Oh, boy. Defending definitely helps, though. Well, that takes care of the belly. Take care of the belly. Um... Yeah. Mystic Life Orb. Oh, I guess since Ashley's transformed, he goes first now. Fine. Be that way. This fight does take a while be because he's got so much HP, but... That's okay. Boosted Railgun! Bam! Rayforce again? Damn, he is spamming that. 
Luckily, that will automatically level up Loka's four, so she'll pretty much always be able to heal full HP during every turn. So, n no problems there. Though, if you don't have to heal, it is recommended to defend with her, so it'll lessen the damage of Ray Force, which is always a good thing. But yeah, this fight is definitely harder than the last, than the last few. Life Returner. He'll, he can heal about 8,500 HP, which is, which is annoying, but it's not really too bad. Could be much worse. At least he can't heal full HP like that one boss. Considering the, the, the HP he has, that would really suck. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, 12,000 damage. That's nice. That's what we want to see. Everybody's condition green. It's pretty cool. Also, once you defeat his belly, he tends to... Uh, do Ray Force more often. Which is fine, because it keeps your FP up, so... It's not really a bad thing. Da -na 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 -na. Boost! Boosted easy missile. Bam! Yeah, if your attack, if Brad's attack does critical, it, it'll hurt more than any arm. So, that's kind of a thing. But if it doesn't, the arm will actually hurt more. Assuming it's boosted. Luckily, you can use Life Orb as many times as you want. If you could only use it once, I don't think this fight would be doable. I really don't. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We're getting there. Whittling down his massive HP. Ray Force. Technically, there's six if you count the, uh, Strategy RPG. Seven, if you count the remake of the first game. But as far as main main entries in this series, yeah, there's five. Got him. I doubt they'll remake this game, but that would be pretty cool. 150,000 experience, 250,000 gala. Level 82. Ambrosia, as usual. And Violator! <laughs> Violator. We can now violate people. <laughs> That'd be nice. So that one took a while, but we got it. Xenon! For some reason, that, 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 that name just sounds familiar. Violator! Which was actually a weapon for one of the characters in the first game. We can shadow, absorbs light, halves everything else, and you, of course you can steal mini carrot as always. I think that's for Kanan. Yes, it is. It's an element in real life. Ooh, look at that attack upgrade. Attack up by 98, as always. Violator. Okay, 